Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahawah Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. And salutations to Yahweh across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. It says, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge, man. How long are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans going to want to stay in this place, man? How long, man? How long are you going to love the simplicity of wickedness in this place, man? How long are you going to want... How long are you going to love to be at the bottom, man? All right? I just watched a, a, a video that Elder Yashawamba posted, and, and it showed that uh, the children in Baltimore, man, that they, they have a, a freezing school, man. All right? They have a school that actually has no heat, man. They have uh, in the middle of the class the, the the pipes freeze over and burst in the middle of the of the floor, man, and and the, and the students have to sit in in the cold, man, in their jackets just to do schoolwork, just to learn. All right, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are getting shot down in the streets. All right, you you you're being discriminated against. All right, you you're being the you're the uh the the last hired, first fired. All right, how long are you going to love the, sim the simplicity of wickedness? How long are you going to love the simplicity of being a, 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 a base person under the, under a heathen nation? How long are you going to continue to uh, <laughs> want these, these these people that are that are, are that are counted as nothing to you? How about Shemiah Shai? How long are you going to want them to rule over you, man? Look at the earth, man. Look at the animals. Look, they're all dying. All right, homosexuality is being pushed. All kinds of transgenderism, ecosexual. All right, all kinds of wickedness and madness is being pushed on the earth. The earth is 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 being destroyed. Chemtrails in the air. How long are you you, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans gonna love the simplicity of this dark of this dark world, man? How long, man? And the scornings delight in their scorn. And the scorners delight in their scorning. How long are you you niggas gonna keep scoffing this truth, man, and not taking it serious? How long are you gonna continue to kill yourself by smoking cigarettes and blunts and drinking terrible uh, uh, alcohol and and doing all kinds of ab abominable things, man? How long are you gonna How long are you gonna do that? Do this, man. How long are you gonna keep scoffing uh, uh, righteousness, man? How long are you people gonna do this, man? That's what that, that's what that's what uh, that's what's being asked here in the scripture, man. Because this shit is getting out of hand, man. Look at the earth. Like I said before, man. The so-called white men who are the biblical Edomites, man, who are the wicked, man, they are in control of the earth. And if we don't cry out to y'all about Shemiah we aren't going to get out of here, man. Okay? We're not going to get out of here. We're going to continue to be at the bottom, man. We're going to continue to be under a nation that doesn't know how to run the planet, that doesn't know how to run the people, that doesn't know how to uh, 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 fairly and righteously judge people and judge people, uh, judge the earth, take care of the earth. How long are you people going to love the simplicity of this bullshit, man? Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? How long are you dumb niggas and dumb nigger women going to love uh, to hate knowledge that the Lord is pouring out on the planet, man? How long, man? How long are you going to uh, how long are you going to want? How long do you want to be at the bottom, man? You enjoy being a, a piece of shit, man. You enjoy living in in in, in the worst parts of the uh, of the countries that we are that we're scattered in. All right, you love eating the worst food. You love being a laughing stock to the heathens that are that are like I said before that are nothing, man. They're way weaker than us, way less intelligent than us. <laughs> how long are you gonna How long are you gonna hate knowledge, man? The Lord is calling you a fool, man. Okay, how long? This is a. Uh... This is Isaiah 1. This is Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. This is these are two of the dumbest animals on the planet, man. And they know who to who to who to listen to. They know who feeds them. They know who their master is, man. They know who wants the best for them. Okay? And these are the stupidest, dumbest animals on the planet, man. Alright? Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. You don't even consider that the men on the highways and byways, okay, are coming out with the with the, the truth. All right, with the truth, man, the truth of the Bible. 
All right, which says that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the people of the Lord, man. You are the most important people on the planet. How long, man? How long are you going to want to be the people that the, the, that the that all the world hates, man? When in the scriptures it says you're the best people on the planet, man. You are the inheritance of the Most High. How long? How long are you going to want to be uh, anything but that, man? It says, but Israel doth not know. My people does not consider. So when you scoff against us, man, you just make yourself look like a dumb fucking fool, man. And that's and, and, and that's good for you, man, because a lot of you, a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be put to death, man, because you love simplicity. You hate knowledge. You're fools, man. Okay, Isaiah one and four, a sinful nation. You 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 so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are a sinful nation of people, man. All you do is bullshit, man. All you do is embarrass the more the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai down here on the planet, man. Then when destruction comes, you're going to call out to God. That's not even his name, man. You're going to call out to the Most High to try to save you when you just have completely been embarrassing him down here on the planet, man. All right, look at it as, 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 a, as a family, as, as three, three, uh, three siblings, man. The oldest is always uh, 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 to, to be accounted for, man. He's the one in charge. He's the one that the, the, the parents are going to look at, even if the younger ones mess up, man. You are in that position as a race, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to the most high, man. You are the the, the 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 nation because we're all one nation. We're all one people. We descend from the same man. All right, we were given the we were given an obligation, man. We're obligated to follow the law, statutes, and commandments so that we can control the world, man, in righteousness. But you niggas don't want to do it, man, because you are a sinful nation, as it says here. Isaiah 1 and 4, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. And that's the, the total condition that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are in, man. You are backwards. You are evil. You are a, a people laden with iniquity. All you do is wake up in the morning and do evil and do wickedness every day, man. That's why in Proverbs it says, how long will you love simplicity, man? How long will you hate knowledge? All right? You're just a, a, a nation of fucking idiots, man. That's why the Lord has a remnant, man. Because this shit is getting out of hand, man. You don't even see, you don't even sit back and look at the earth, look at the, 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 the status of the people. All right? Look at the laws and, 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 and regulations that are be, being passed on the earth. Look at all the war and violence on the earth. You stupid fucking people don't even sit back and look at this, man. That's why the Lord, the Lord, just, the Lord basically compared you as, as as being dumber than these the dumbest animals on the planet, man. You're the dumbest people on the planet, the stupidest fucking idiots on the planet, man. Here it is, we're out here on the highways and byways, telling you who you are, telling you that the Lord is about to come back, all right? Which is evident because everything that was prophesied is starting to unfold. But you niggas still want to scoff us, talk about saying we have a we wear dresses on the streets, we're crazy, get a life. Nigga, soon you motherfuckers are not going to have a life. You're going to be obliterated with a thermonuclear destruction, man. Because you're living this simple, this simple ass life being simpletons, man. How long will you love simplicity, as it said in Proverbs, man? Isaiah 1 and 5, why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. All right, so the Lord is getting the Lord is fed up, man. He's you either get this truth and knowledge and you repent now while the grace period is on, or you will, you're gonna be destroyed when all this hell breaks loose, man. Which is coming soon. We say it week in and week out because once this hell breaks loose, there is no going back, man. There is no calling to God. There is if you die, you die, like in the said, like the like the like, the, like it says in uh, Rocky, man, like the Russians said, because that's how they're gonna have they're gonna have that same spirit when they come over here. Shooting people down in the streets. That's going to be the spirit of every soldier that, that that's going to be planted down into the United States streets, man. If you die, you die. That's what they're, they're not going to have, have no reverence on you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Nobody cares about you anyway. They're going to drop bombs on you. Nobody cares about you, man. The only way to get out of destruction and to get and to come back into righteousness is through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, through his men of Great Millstone, man. Not through the church. The church is not teaching you who you are. The church, the church, the, the pastor is teaching you what he wants to teach you. He's teaching, he's teaching you what he's supposed to teach you, what he was taught to teach. Because he's under a 501c3 charter, man. 
How long are you going to love simplicity, man? The Lord says you are gone away backward. Every day you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans get up, you, you, you do everything that's backwards, man. You call on God. You call on Jesus. You eat the pork. You do everything the Lord tell, told you not to do. Just a dumb, idiot, idiotic race of people, man. All right, that's why the Lord says you are heathens, man. All Israel is not Israel, man. You, you, so you, so most of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are, you are, the, you are of your father, the devil, man. Okay, Isaiah one and five it says, "Why should you be stricken any more? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint." From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have no wisdom, no knowledge, no intelligence, nothing. You just follow everything the heathens tell you to do. Follow everything the so-called white men who are the biblical Edomites. You follow everything they tell you to do, and you're good with them, and you're good with that simplicity. You're good with the simplicity of wickedness, man, which is going to get you destroyed, man. Isaiah 1 and 6, from the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. And that's the condition that you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are in physically, spiritually, mentally and all, all, all sorts of other aspects, man. You're finished, man. The only way to be healed from all this this, this oppression and and, and and all this violence against our people is to come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. There's nobody else, man. But we know that all of Israel is not of Israel, man. So at the end of the day, two-thirds of you, 66.6% of, of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you will be you will be destroyed, man, because you you you're a wicked, a wicked, a, a, a wicked seed, man. All right, you the same spirits that 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 that, that crucified the Lord. You the same spirits that 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 the Moses had to put to death. You the same spirits that 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 in the time of the Maccabees wanted to 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 follow the the Greek customs. You the same spirits, man, just coming back over and over again. And this is the last go around, man. After this, you, you you're gonna come back in the kingdom after you destroy it, because it says in the scriptures it says you shall learn you should learn it death, but you should learn it. Death by pain, man. You should learn the 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 the. You should learn the fear of the Lord through death by pain, man. That's how you're gonna learn, man. Because you don't want to learn it by coming back to these scriptures and coming back to righteousness and and, and coming back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. So you have to you have to be put to death, as the scriptures say. Because you think what we do go out there and do is a joke, man. We doing it for you, but you don't see that, so the Lord's gonna destroy you pretty soon. All right. Isaiah 1 and 6, from the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there's no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, your land, strangers devour it in your presence. And it is desolate as the as overthrown by strangers, man. The, 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 the people in Israel today, those are Edomites, man. They don't, that's our land they're in. Don't you understand? The real Jews are dark skinned. The real Jews are you so called Negroes, uh, 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 or consider you so called Negroes, West Indians, and Haitians, man. You make up the, the, the nation of Judah, man. All right, specifically, you so called Negroes in America, you are the real Jews, man. How long do we have to, how long will you love simplicity, man? How long? You know, it's up to you. It, it's really up to you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to, to come back to the Lord, man. All right. The Lord is going to destroy most of our people because they do not want to hearken to righteousness, man. They love the simplicity of wickedness. All right. Isaiah 1. And the daughter of Zion. All right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are the daughter of Zion. We are likened unto, as to a woman, to the Most High. All right. We're, his, we're his, uh, his favorite nation on the planet. Is left as a cottage in a vineyard. As a lodge in a garden of cucumbers. As a besieged city. Let's see what that word means. Shit is madness, man. And you could feel you could feel an awakening happen, and you could feel the separation. You could see who the stupid, the dumb idiots of our nation are. You're starting to see it, man. The word besieged.
to guard, to watch, watch over, keep, to watch, to guard, keep, keep, to preserve, guard from dangers, to keep, observe, guard with fidelity, to guard, keep secret, to kept, to be kept closed, be, be blockaded, watchmen. All right. So there's no, my, there's nobody watching us anymore, man. All right. Our cities and our people are, they have no, no, no watchmen over them. We have been besieged. We have been uh, destroyed. That's why we're in the ghettos and the, and, and the barrios and all the terrible places in the United States. All the terrible areas, man. Because we're under the curses, man. For not following these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. From the beginning. Isaiah 1 and 9. It says, except the Lord of hosts had left us a very small remnant. All right. We should have been as Sodom and, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah, man. So the remnant is going to wake up out this madness. All right. And the rest of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you will be destroyed by thermonuclear destru destruction, man. Okay? Isaiah 1 and 10. Hear the word of Yahweh, ye, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our power, ye people of Gomorrah. All right? The Lord is likening you to these people, man. Wickedness. Wicked, evil, uh, uh, adulterous, uh, despiteful, despicable people, man. That's what two-thirds of our people are, man. All right? That's why it says in, that's why it says in Isaiah 1 and 9, except the Lord of hosts had left us unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah, man. Alright, so the Lord has left the remnant, all right, that he's gonna start the nation over with. And and the rest of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're gonna be destroyed, man. Because you love simplicity. You love wickedness. Alright? Which means that you hate the most high, man. Alright? So with that, man, I hope that was edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahah, Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. And salutations to you, Akiyam, and you, Akwath, whoever you, wherever you may be. And to the hopeful elect, wherever you may be. All right, salutations to you. And Shalom.